This holiday's newest collectible, sort of like Beanie Babies. Kids are loving them and collecting them. There's a fireman and a police officer. Right. We're giving those two to our audience today. And 500 of them to Toys for Tots for kid needy oh. kids this Christmas. Beautiful. So thank you, the Rubber Ducks people. And they're also going to be appearing in uh, my magazine soon because now I have a collection. <laughs> okay. Uh, what new toys are making a big splash with... Your children. Everybody needs a rubber ducky, right, Lee? The rubber ducks. They're the newest creation in um, Toy Fair 2001. Here you have Duck Arena, the ballerina, Duck Sino, our gambler, and La May. You sure it's not a lame duck? Not a lame duck. She it's is La May. La May. Yes. Okay. This is the new generation of rubber ducks. Well, the traditional rubber ducky is getting a whole new look thanks to a Minnesota man. Mark Bolt is from Minneapolis, and he has created what he calls the next Beanie Baby collectible. They're called Rubba Ducks, and today the slam duck was in the spotlight outside the Metrodome. Eyewitness News photojournalist Cy Dotson has more. Pick it up, duck. It's a slam duck. What's the deal? It's a slam duck? Everybody loves the duck. What's the duck for? They say it's the next Beanie Baby. Oh, there they are. There they yeah. are. There's a bunch of ducks. Rubbing around, they're all moving to a swinging sound. People seem to really like them because it's like the traditional toy, but a little bit more. Look real close, there's something to see. They're a lot like you and a lot like me. This is my California duck. Want a duck? Duck for the kid. There's wow. going to be 12 different characters, and they're going to hit the stores next week. They're going to be in Toys R Us. It's going to be one that looks like a football, and he's called Duck Skin. Get it? Well, how do you open them to get inside? You don't have to, but this is it. I can hardly believe it. Do you know that if people like this during the game... Yeah. Good luck for Duke. Duke wins. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I'll do that all Duke the time. Duke will win. Duck? No. First, no, I got all those. The ducks um, resemble people's personalities, and that was the whole idea of maybe people were all from the same pond. I can tell you wanted a slam duck. That's right. Great idea. Thank you so much. Good luck to you. Don't accidentally throw one of those on the on the court in the middle of the game, okay? <laughs> okay. Bunch of ducks rubbing around. They're all moving to a swinging sound. A Minneapolis man hopes to get a slam duck with his rubber creations. They're called Rubber Ducks, and they made their debut today at the NCAA Final Four tournament. Mark Bolt came up with the idea three years ago. He brought them to the Toy Fair in New York last month, and they were a huge hit. Just like Beanie Babies, a certain number will be introduced at a time. Slam Duck and 11 other ducks go on sale next week at Toys R Us and other stores. The cost is about six bucks a piece. I can see those being pretty popular. I think they'll move. Yeah. In this morning's small business report, rubber ducks. They played large roles in songs, books, and cartoons for decades. There's been a little variation, though, on the plastic creatures over the years until now. Enter rubber ducks. First business correspondent Lisa Black introduces us to the entrepreneur who's quacking all the way to the bank. <laughs> Mark Bolt connects with ducks, real ones and fake ones. It's the fake ones, a line of collectible toy rubber ducks that Bolt really connects with. He's the mastermind behind this quirky, quacky lineup of rubber characters. They're being called the new Beanie Babies. Hey, they even have their own song. Each duck is created to have its own personality and character. People tell me that they look at these and they remind them of their family and friends. And that, so I guess they're a lot like you and a lot like me. They're a lot like you and a lot like me. They're sitting duck, striped like a target. He's always in the wrong place. Better duck, he didn't, so he has a bandage on his head. And Peking duck, he wears a crown for the bossy types. King of, king of ducks, but Chester at heart. He's a friend, a brother, true loyalty, true royalty. Each of these four and a half inch tall rubber icons comes with a self-esteem message. Check out gray duck, who sports a nose ring. The message here, it's okay to be different. 
try my motto for my company is to challenge, empower, and inspire. You can be entertained, be empowered. You can have all that, and it doesn't have to be violent and negative. In March, the Ducks debuted in Minneapolis when Bolt gave away 15,000 slam ducks. The high-flying basketball duck to final four fans. Here's Duxino. These days, he doesn't have to give them away. They've been flying out of stores. And it won't be long before his original series of 12 retire, or rather migrate. I'm creating about 82 ducks, 83 ducks for this year, and they'll be migrating. So the first 12 will probably migrate by um, fall. Bolt also has plans for rubber ducks clothes, even a TV show. Everywhere I go, it's ducks, 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 ducks. That's not a bad thing, but I mean, people are, people are just clamoring for them. It's fun. Lisa Black, First Business. Rubber ducks have a special place in American culture. Call 7 for Help has discovered the newest rubber duck craze, but odds are it will be tough to get your hands on a rubber duck. Pick it up, duck. Meet the rubber ducks, ducks with unique personalities. When they hit the store, they were selling kind of slow, but then all of a sudden they just picked up. Toys R Us in Aurora can't keep rubber ducks in stock long enough. They don't squeak, they don't talk. They really don't do anything but amuse. They're really cute. I hadn't seen them before. Sitting duck, first on the list. Sitting duck. See the bullseye design? Lame duck. Oh, I mean, lame duck. Duck tape. Not duct tape. Better to cheer up your sick friends. And duck skin. Need I say more? While rubber ducks sell for $5.99 here, they're selling for twice, even ten times as much here on eBay. Adults and kids alike like these things. Okay, now rubber ducks, they even have their own hatch dates, believe it or not. Toys R Us and also a toy expert known as the Toy Guy, they expect that these ducks will be the hottest collectible since the Cabbage Patch doll. By the way, if you have a product that you want us to check out, call 7 for help. Dial 303-832, oops, 83, call 7, sorry. Or you can also log on to our website, thedenverchannel.com, and click on call 7. They're pretty fun, they are, aren't they? This one is the sitting duck. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and this, of course, it looks like the football. That's the duck skin. They're fun. I think they they're cute. They are shopping for toys because, first of all, if you do it this summer, you're going to save time, money, and you're going to find them. And yeah. I'm going to give you a little preview, Tiffany, about what's hot. First, would you believe that the good old yellow duck is back? Yeah. And it's going to be collectible at $5.99, Toys R Us. These are called rubber ducks. And these little ducks, this is right here, we have this one's slam duck. This one's <laughs> they have lame duck. They have sitting duck. And each duck has a little personality. And they're $5.99. They're tub worthy. And they are tattooed on their tail feathers. So, so cute. And they're so cute. And they're going to be... Um, Really, I think that's going to be the next kind of beanie baby, but they are ducks and, of course, bath time fun, lots of fun. That's what's going to be the hit this year, and it's just a little prediction. That's so very cute. You'll want to grab it now. The Wallabies.